Hello and welcome back everybody to another YouTube video. In today's video I will explain and solve problem set for little professor. So this code uh, we are going to edit uh, on. So these are the three functions we are going to uh, have in this problem. And uh, we will go through to we will go through uh, the conditions why we are coding. So let's start with getting a level from the user. So uh, the user uh, has the option to choose uh, levels between one and two and three. So let's uh, edit on this function. And since uh, we are going to prompt the user again. Uh, for the level if uh, if the input is not one or two or three uh, we will make a while loop and uh, let's call the variable level and its input uh, level sorry level and we want to check if this level is either one two or three so we can actually make uh, this by by using uh, a list so if level is if level not in we'll make a list storing the valid options so one two or three sorry three So if that's the case, if it's, if it's not a valid uh, option, we will continue. So we will this will uh, make this code start again, and uh, uh, we will prompt the user for a level again. Otherwise, we will just uh, return level because we are going to use uh, this level in this function here, and we will see in a second return level. So this function is over. So let's move on to this function. We want to generate integer. So we want uh, to actually generate two integers, uh, x and y. And uh, let's do this. But but first, let's uh, make a variable called score to keep track of how many uh, times the user uh, solved uh, a problem. And it's going to be equal to zero for now. And since we are going to generate uh, 10 problems, we are going to uh, make a for loop. And it will loop 10 times. And every time it will uh, generate two, uh, two uh, random variables, uh, two random integers, uh, uh, according to the level. So if it's level 1. It's uh, the numbers uh, should be between zero and nine. If it's level two, it should be between uh, ten and ninety-nine. If it's level three, the numbers should be between hundred and nine hundred ninety-nine. So let's make two variables. First one is x. But let us first check what level uh, the the user uh, chose. So if level is not is sorry if level if the level is equal to one uh, we are using uh, quotations because this is a string so here uh, the input returns a string so that's why we put uh, one in a string so if it's level one sorry for that we're going to generate a number between between 0 and 9 and uh, the same for uh, y y so else if the level is 2 we will also uh, generate two uh, integers x and y and this time it's going to be between 10 and 99 So otherwise, uh, sorry again. Otherwise, uh, the integers will be between hundred 
and 999. So that's done. So after this uh, block of code, uh, in this line we will be having uh, two variables x and y. Uh, now we will use them to uh, print out uh, the problem for the user. And let's make a while loop. And we will make a while loop uh, just in case the user uh, inputted uh, a wrong answer. Uh, we want to uh, prompt him again for uh, the same question. So that's why we're using while loop here. So now we want to print uh, the problem. So print, we will use uh, if string x and y and the equal sign and that's it so after that we will take an input from the user let's make a variable first answer equal input so uh, we actually have to edit the parameter end here because if we didn't if you didn't uh, 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 edit this parameter uh, the user will have to explain it okay let me comment to explain so if the if the problem is for example 3 plus 2 uh, this print function without the end edited will be like that equal and that's it uh, since this print function is over it will automatically print a new line so when the user uh, uh, solves uh, or inputs the, the the answer it will be printed in another line so for example he puts 5 it will be it will be in, in a new line but that's not uh, convenient we want to uh, uh, make the the, the answer uh, right after the equal sign so that's why we're going to edit the end parameter to be equal to nothing because uh, by default it's equal to new line so now when the user uh, tries to input the, the solution for the problem it will be right after the equal sign okay I hope uh, this is clear so let's remove this uh, comments and let's move on so now after printing out the problem it's a random number here plus a random number equal to uh, and this is where the user will input the solution we want to check if the user uh, solved the problem right so to do so let's make an if statement and check if the answer answer is equal to uh, x plus y but this will not work because the answer is a string and x plus y will uh, return an integer so we can do this function we can use this function string here uh, because if for example x is 5 and y is 1 uh, the output will be 6 and we will convert it to a string so we can compare it with the answer uh, variable and if that's the case uh, we will add 1 to the score and uh, yeah and we will break out of this while loop uh, and when we break out uh, another loop will begin and another uh, question will be generated so let's check if the user uh, didn't solve the problem so if the answer is not equal to x plus y We should, as mentioned in the problem, uh, print. Uh, okay, let me print. We should print e e e. And uh, we should also uh, reprompt the user for the question. So the user have uh, actually three trials. So in order to check how many trials the user uh, used, uh, we can keep track of uh, this by using a variable. So let's make a variable. And uh, let's actually define it uh, here. And the reason I defined it here 
uh, not here for example because we want to reset the trials every uh, time the qu a new question is generated so uh, if the user we, we will actually add another condition so if the user uh, answer is wrong and uh, we want to also check if he haven't used uh, all three trials so we will check if the trials uh, trials not equal to three or actually uh, not equal to two because we are starting from zero or if it's confusing we can just uh, start at one and here check if it's not equal to three because if it's equal to three that means that the user uh, tried three times so we print uh, this message and we also want to continue so that's why we use the while loop here because uh, when the user uh, inputs a wrong solution we will just uh, ask him again so that's why we use the while loop and otherwise uh, before that we actually need to edit something here which is to add uh, one to the trials if the user uh, uh, input the wrong solution okay otherwise here let's uh, oh yeah we will here print uh, the answer so after the third trial uh, we'll print the answer for the user and we will uh, break out of the loop so in order so to in order to generate another uh, question so to print the solution let's use if string again and x plus y is going to be equal to x plus y then we want to break out uh, of this while loop to generate another question so i think this function is also uh, done okay let's uh, call the functions here so first we want to call get level function and it will return a value so we want to store this value uh, in a variable let's call it uh, l for example and when uh, when we when we call this function generate integer we will pass in uh, this variable l because this function needs an uh, a parameter uh, uh, to uh, to generate uh, numbers according to that so let's call the function and pass in the parameter uh, l so i think everything is done okay let's test and see if there is any problems okay let's uh, start with level one okay let's let's solve and see if uh, if uh, another question will be generated so eight plus eight equals 16 okay that's new question mine also mine okay let's test if we uh, input a wrong solution so let's input two for example so we, ex we are expecting to uh, uh, to be printed uh, triple e uh, then the same question again okay that's working let's also uh, solve uh, let's solve it wrong let's also say solve it wrong and see if another uh, question will be generated after using our three trials okay first uh, we are getting the answer of our question then a new question is generated but i think we should uh, also print triple uh, e after uh, after yeah after we solve it for the third time uh, wrong so we have to edit uh, the, our code again so i think we can do it uh, in in here so before printing the solution let's print 
this message again so I think it will work right now so let's test again and see okay let's run the program uh, level 1 that's 8 okay 10 let's now uh, give the wrong solution okay 2 1 so yeah now this message is printed then we are getting the answer then we are being generated with another question so before we end i will show you just uh, another way of doing this two lines of code we can actually call the get level function here and remove this line so what will happen is first uh, this function will be called and since it returns a value this value will be uh, will be the parameter of this function so if we run this program again and yeah it's also working and I think uh, I wanted to show you something else okay let's check if we input a cat for example so we want to check if this uh, error handling is working so cat should reprompt us again for the level nice let's uh, let's try negative two let's try zero so yeah every time we input uh, a level other than one two or three will we pre be, be pre we will be reprompted again <laughs> sorry uh, but but before ending actually let's try uh, if this variable is working and we will be printed with our score at the end of uh, the program so let's uh, level one let's solve a couple of questions five nine four seven eleven five five nine okay so we forgot yeah we forgot to print out the score after uh, the 10 questions are generated so let's print the score here and try again level one four nine seven seven uh, eight i'm sorry ten nine eighteen twelve six Okay, so we got 10 out of 10. So let's try if we solved a couple of questions wrong. Level 1, it's 4. I know it's wrong. So let's also solve this one wrong. And let's solve the rest uh, with the right answer. 10, 10. We should get uh, we should get uh, eight out of ten because we solved two questions wrong. Okay, that's working. So yeah, now we can end the video. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And see you next time.